Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this one, I want to address a question that you guys ask pretty frequently. What light settings should I use for my Fluval Bluetooth LED, whether it's the Plant Spectrum, the Marine Spectrum, or the AquaSky 2.0? Let's get into it. Now, if you've asked us this question on social media, uh, on Facebook, on Instagram, or in the comments of our YouTube videos, uh, or you've seen someone do so, you may have noticed that we don't really answer the question. We don't give you know specific light recommendations. The reason for that is that there's kind of no reason to do so because aquariums differ from each other so vastly. Aquariums are all about balance. There's all kinds of variables at play. Lighting is one of them, but there's many others. For example, what kind of fish do you have? How many of them do you have? What kinds of plants do you have? What's your planting density? What sort of feeding do you do? How frequently do you feed? What kind of food do you feed? You know, do you dose micro and macronutrients? Do you have CO2 on the tank? What's your maintenance schedule like? What's the ambient light in the room? You know, is there a lot of sunlight streaming in? So there's there's all kinds of things involved here and they all will influence that overall balance that you're trying to go for. Recommending light settings without knowing all of those other variables is kind of a dangerous thing to do because it could, it has the potential to completely throw off that balance that you're trying to go for. The light settings that I use here at the office, you know, if you were to replicate them on your aquarium at home, maybe it's way too much light, maybe it's not enough light then you get an imbalance and that's where algae can get a foothold in your tank and you can start having really big problems. And so when you ask, you know, what light settings should I use on my plant or marine spectrum Bluetooth LED or the AquaSky Bluetooth LED, the, the, the real answer is that we don't know. We don't have all the information we need to be able to give you a good recommendation. There is not one set of light settings that will work for everybody's aquarium. There's just way too much variability involved in the whole situation. The best recommendation we can make is to start with a basic profile and start modifying it and tinkering with it to best suit your particular aquarium. Your tank's gonna tell you if it's happy and healthy or if things are kind of wrong. If your plants are growing really well and you don't have too much algae, that sounds good. You know, and then you can make little changes to it and, and maybe you add in a little bit more blue and, and if that makes your plants look better and grow better, okay, great. Maybe you want to do that a little bit more. Or if you, you know, do something else and then you start getting a lot of algae after a week or two, probably don't want to do that. So dial that back. Start with a basic profile and then make changes to it to best suit your particular aquarium. Now, before I continue, I would like to quickly shout out our friend Bentley. Uh, he has made a wonderful mini series all about the Plant 3.0 LED. Uh, you know, tips on how to set up the light, how to use auto mode, pro mode, uh, tips for beginners, tips for more experienced users of the lights. They're, they're wonderful, comprehensive, really informative videos. Uh, and I think they definitely deserve to be shouted out. So the links to all of those will be in the description of this video. The videos were not sponsored. We didn't ask him to make those videos. He, he made them on his own and we just think they're wonderful and we want to give him some credit for, for making them. Uh, there's, there's a lot of good information and frankly, a lot of what I would have said in this video, he has already covered in his videos. So definitely, you know, after watching this video, if you want to go check them out, I would highly recommend it. And so with all that being said, uh, I'm going to put up on screen right now the light settings that I use for the Plant 3.0, Marine 3.0, and AquaSky 2.0 Bluetooth LEDs here at the office. This is kind of the, you know, the baseline. This is what I start with. And then for individual aquariums, I'll make adjustments. And that's definitely what I recommend you do for your own aquarium as well. You'll notice that I use auto mode in all three cases. Uh, for me, that offers all the customization that I need. But in your case, if you want a little bit more ability to, to tinker and to change things, pro mode might be perfect for you. Now, some tips that might be helpful to you. Uh, you want your photo period in general to be about six to eight hours. You know, if it's a, a very high tech tank with CO2 and all that fun stuff, you might want to go a little bit longer. But six to eight hours is what works for me here. Uh, the sunrise and the sunset time periods, I like to do one hour each. I think that gives you know, a good amount of, of gradual increase and decrease so the fish aren't alarmed, but it doesn't drag on for too long. If your tank is new, it's a really great idea to start with less light at the beginning and then kind of slowly ramp it up as your tank starts to fill in and your plants grow. If you immediately bombard tiny little baby plants with the light they'll need as adults, you're basically just opening the door for algae to grow. 
Again, remember, it's all about balance. So the settings that I put on screen, that's kind of for medium tech tanks, if you want to call them that. So it, I'm not, you know, putting a lot of supplements into it. It's not particularly demanding species, but it's not a completely, you know, simple bare bones tank either. If you have a more demanding aquarium, you know, a very densely planted tank, or, you know, you're keeping corals that need a lot more light, you're going to want to scale up the light levels to meet those demands. Likewise, if your tank doesn't have that many plants, or it's a much shallower tank or a smaller tank, you're probably going to want to scale things down a little bit. For freshwater tanks, red light is important. Plants photosynthesize red spectrum light very efficiently. Uh, you do also want to have some blue light. Uh, you know, plants will use it as well. And even though they do reflect some of it, green light is important. In the case of the plant 3.0 LEDs that doesn't have, you know, a dedicated green light, you'll get the green light that you need from the white LEDs. In the case of marine aquariums, I like to turn everything up to 100 except for the cold white, which I'll keep at about 50%. Uh, if you want to get more of that fluorescent pop and really show off to your friends, uh, you know, you could turn that cold white down a little bit more. If you want to get a more natural look to your tank, or if you have corals that really need all the light you can give them, turn that cold white up closer to 100%. And that is it, guys. So again, I cannot reiterate this enough. Mess around with your light a little bit. You know, have some fun with it. Tinker with it. See what settings, you know, you like the look of, but also give you the results you're looking for in your aquarium. I definitely recommend using the light settings I put up earlier. I'll put them up again right now. Uh, again, these are great to use as a baseline and then make modifications to better suit your aquarium. Alternately, you can go watch Bentley's videos. Again, the links are in the description below. They are so full of information. You'll get a lot of great tips from him and you'll be able to get a good idea of you know, where to start with your LED. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, concerns, or conundrums, please leave them in the comment section down below. We'll be happy to try to answer any questions you may have. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit like. If you're new around here, subscribe. Hit that bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.